During a rash of break-ins at businesses in the San Fernando Valley, one stands out. Of 10 break-ins in two days, one owner received a note of apology left on the counter. The business, Teriyaki Madness, was actually hit twice this week, but at least according to one burglar, he won't be back. KTLA's Chris Wolf is live in San Fernando with the story. Chris? Yeah, MB and Micah, this is a crime wave with no end in sight. Business owners here in San Fernando are understandably frustrated. They're angry, but in the middle of all of this heartache, there is some laughter from an unlikely source. The thief left a note for his victims at this restaurant, as you said. It's called Teriyaki Madness, which he apparently hit twice within the last couple of days. Picking up and boarding up after a seemingly endless crime spree in San Fernando. According to reports, an intruder or intruders broke into at least six, possibly as many as 10 businesses within a couple of days. San Fernando police say the cases involve burglary, vandalism, and even grand theft. Targets include restaurants, a coffee shop, and a real estate development, construction, and property management company. This week has been crazy for you and other businesses in the area. Uh, yes, this week has been an uh, emotional roller coaster. Isaiah Rosario runs the San Fernando Coffee Company. Early Tuesday morning, a thief smashed his way into the coffee trolley and stole the cash register. There was only six bucks. But to replace that is going to cost you a thousand dollars. That's correct. So they got maybe pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Uh, but the register itself costs about a grand to replace, as well as the shipping time. Security cameras from the restaurant next door, called Teriyaki Madness, captured an intruder slipping through a shattered glass window and heading straight for the register. And in a bizarre and arguably comical twist. Cameras also recorded the mystery man writing something on a post-it note before he disappeared into the night. Sorry, need money for drugs, won't come back. He left the note during the second break-in at the restaurant within two days. <laughs> yeah. Our alarm systems are supposed to be going off during this time, but they didn't because it's like motion sensor towards the back. And we're trying to get on that because it it came out of the blue. Honestly, nobody saw this coming. Business owners will be meeting with the San Fernando police chief tomorrow morning. Reporting live in San Fernando, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris, thank you.